Shashwin, would you like to read the text? The text to Raja Vidya. Yes, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare. Raja Vidya Raja Guhyam Pavitram Idam Uttamam Radhyakshavagamam Dharmyam Susukam Kartutam Tum Tumavyayam Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Uh, Richa Mataji, would you like to read the text and we can re repeat just once? So then today we want to finish text too. Hare Krishna Mataji, just give me one minute as I'm in the kitchen. I just need to get my Bhagavad Gita. Okay. I'll uh, ask somebody else to read till you get your Bhagavad Gita. Lata Mataji, are you there? Yes, Mataji. Okay. Let's read the text too. Okay, Mataji. Raja Vidya Raja Raja Kuhyam Raja Vidya Raja Kuhyam Pavitram Yidam Uttamam Pavitram Yidam Uttamam Prat Pratyakshavagamam dharmyam Pratyakshavagamam dharmyam Susukham kardum avyayam Susukham kardum avyayam Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Richa Mataji, are you able to get your Bhagavad Gita? Yes, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Raja Vidya Raja Guyam. Raja Vidya Raja Guyam. Pavitram Idam Uttamam. Pavitram Idam Uttamam. Pratyakshavagamam Dharmyam. Susukam kartum avyayam. Susukam kartum avyayam. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Uh, Kumar Prabhuji, will you just read the translation? Just the translation, and then we are uh, joined by Avinash Prabhuji. Avinash Prabhuji, Dandvat Pranam. Please accept our humble obeisances. Thank you for being the mentor for today. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Prabhuji, please read the translation and then we go to the purport from where we left okay. yesterday. This knowledge is the king of education, the most secret of all secrets. It is the purest knowledge. And because it gives direct perception of the self-realization, it is the, of perfect the self way. by realization. Okay. Please read that again. And okay. because meaning is different. Uh, and because it gives direct perception of the self by realization. It is the perfection of religion. It is a everlasting and it is joyfully performed. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Prabhuji. Okay, Avinash Prabhuji, we thought we can uh, read the purport from where we left and then uh, discuss and hand over to you. Is that okay? Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, yeah. Okay, Prahlad, please continue. Hare Krishna. Maybe you can just read one paragraph we discuss and then we read the next. Because if we read everything at one time again, we'll be like oh, lost. Right. I do it from the starting. No, no, Prabhu, not from the. Uh, we did, I think, till. As, as explained in the 28th verse of 7th chapter, that's where we begin. You read that paragraph and then we discuss yeah. and then move on. Okay. Paput by Shula Prabhupada, Shula Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Um, as explained in the 28th verse of the 7th chapter, a person who has 
completely ended the reactions of all sinful activity and who is fully engaged in pious activities, being freed from the duality of this world becomes engaged in devotional service to the Supreme Personality of God, Krishna. In other words, those who are actually engaged in the devotional service of the Supreme Lord are already freed from all reactions. This statement is confirmed in the Padma Purana. Uh, so I stop there or I no, still Please read the, uh, the text and then continue reading till the end of the paragraph. Apra apra rab da palam pam pam kutam bijam falo mukam falo mukam karme naiva pralit yeta Vishnu bhakti ratat manam. For those who are engaged in the devotional service of the supreme personality of Godhead, all sinful reactions, whether fruit fructified in the stock or in the form of a seed gradually vanish. Therefore, the purifying potency of devotional service is very strong and it is called Pavitram Uttamam, the purest. Uttama means transcendental, Tamas means this material world or darkness and Uttama means that which is transcendental to material activities. Devotional activities are never to be considered material, although sometimes it appears that devotees are engaged just like ordinary men. One who can see and is familiar with devotional service will know that they are not material activities. They are all spiritual and devotional, uncontaminated by the material modes of nature. Hare Krishna. Can we reflect on this just for a minute or two? Oh, Prabhuji, what, what do you think we should do? How should we go about it? Is I don't know whether, whether you want to reflect on it and then I can, in the end, I can just spend 20 or 30 minutes just going through what we discussed. So everyone can do, do, do their reflection and then uh, come to the end, then I can just uh, uh, see what my realizations are and okay. whatever, if I can confirm with the realization of others, yeah. Okay, so uh, after each and every paragraph, we can spend a minute or two on reflection. Otherwise, if we read the whole purport, we'll forget. That's right, yeah. Okay, okay. so I'll just pick one, some, uh, one at a time so that um, we don't waste a lot of time. Um, so, Richa Mataji, is it possible for you to tell us what you understood from this? Yeah, I just go and get a pen, yeah? Okay, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Uh, I couldn't really hear much, but um, according to what I heard and um, what I understood is that uh, those who are actually engaged in the devotional service so basically, devotional service is, is a way which will burn all the sins of a person and all the reactions of the fruitive activities. Like, as we know that we are present in this materialistic world, for every action, there is a equal and opposite reaction. We even learn this in physics, Newton's, uh, I think, third law, that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So when we take up to bhakti, when we take up to devotional services, our, our past sinful reactions, they, they just um, burn down quickly and, and it actually purifies us. Devotional service has the potency to purify all of our, all of our bad karmas that we have been doing since I don't even know how many birds, 8.4 million birds. And um, so it is very important that we do not consider devotional service as anything common to or any other relation which is in this materialistic world, it's not devotional service. Like there's a big difference between the materialistic relations and the devotional service, the love towards Krishna. As we already know that Prabhupada and Krishna, both of them, they say that in Kali, the, the love, there is no actual love. The only thing that is closest to love is the love between a mother and a child. There is no other love, it's all selfishness, Everything is meant 
for taking something good out of the other person. And, this, and the first love that is important and which is actually the true love is between the Supreme Personality and his devotees, like the person and the God, that is the first love. So devotional service, until I know, is that um, the one who is actually familiar with all the devotional services will never face uh, any bad reactions of the fruity activities that he'll do, because everything will get purified by the name of Supreme Personality of Godhead. And one thing that I was told before entering Krishna consciousness is that when you take up to the path of bhakti, it's not easy, because what Lord Krishna does for you is that all the bad karmas that you've done in your past life, all the reactions, you get it at the same time. You get all the reactions in one period so that later on in your life, you can focus on bhakti. And I think uh, even Prabhu, Prabhupada has mentioned this in one of his lectures that Krishna will give you all the problems in the beginning of your bhakti. So do not think that it's an easy path. Krishna will keep on testing you. But uh, once you take up to devotional services, slowly, slowly, you will be purified. That is what I understand from this. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Rita Mataji. And then there are two words over here, the three words that are given a lot of importance. Uttama, which means transcendental. Tamas is this material world of darkness. We know about tamasic and tamas. And uttama means that which is transcendental to the material activities. Okay, so those words uh, is, are mentioned over here. Hare Krishna Mataji. Yes, Prabhu. Ravi here, can you hear yes. me? Yes, Prabhuji, we can hear you. So this um, concept of devotional service, which is going to be our road to clearing up our mess of the past, can I hear a little bit more from anybody and everybody? What is their devotional service on March the 16th? What exactly? I mean, if it's just devotional service, from what I've told, gee, we should all be going home, no? We're all doing 16 matters, so many other things. But what is it really day to day practice? I, I, I know it's a lot of it has been said in Bhagavad Gita and all that, but practically, Kitty Mataji, I will start with you. Tell me about your devotions. So I think the uh, best, uh, the first part of uh, devotional service is surrendering. And um, as, uh, like it was mentioned yesterday, um, first we have to accept. Yeah, uh, we uh, sometimes don't accept um, Krishna consciousness as the path and we are skeptical we don't realize, um, uh, uh, we want to experiment. We just, as a Jignashu, we are uh, uh, entering it or as a Gnani or just to test the waters. But we have to be, uh, accept it and then have unalloyed. We learned the word unalloyed, which means um, our love is not contaminated. Unconditional love for Krishna without any expectations. Um, I used to say, oh, I, I can chant two more rounds, Prabhu. Um, Krishna, please, um, uh, you do this work for me. Yeah, I'll do this. Or uh, I'll, I'll get a new set of decoration for the uh, deity if, if I get this. So that was my conditional love for Krishna. But uh, we've learned that it has to be unalloyed. And um, uh, we have to reach in perfection. Um, so what I understand from devotional um, service is, okay, yes, I accept that um, Krishna is in that form, in the deity form, and I will um, chant and hear about him. When you uh, chant, you cleanse your heart of all the anarthas, which I myself have experienced, and then you will uh, feel like doing more and more devotional service. So it is um, a devotion service to the deities, uh, reading the Sankirtan movement, the chanting, and even this discussion, uh, discussing of uh, the Bhagavad Gita, this one uh, hour that we are doing, 
that also is a devotional service. Like you all have removed that one hour time. You could be sitting and watching TV or doing various other activities, but this one hour or 45 minutes you've removed from the material world and um, devoted this much time to uh, discussing about Krishna. So according to me, these are the devotional activities, but Avinash Prabhuji will throw light at the end probably or if he so uh, thinks it's important, we can discuss it now. I, uh, yeah, I think we have covered um, the devotional service at the death, but uh, yes, just repeating what uh, has been covered is uh, actually devotional service was you know, mentioned, actually it's mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam where Prahlad Maharaj actually is, uh, is saying, um, you know, the types of devotional service that we should be thinking about is uh, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Padasevanam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, and Atma Nivedam, Nivedadam. So that is nine um, the things which we should actually, that comprises of devotional service. It doesn't mean that we, which, which one comes first, but the hearing is the best one, which we should be actually hearing all the time. So Shravanam, which is, which is um, the hearing, uh, and, and uh, Kirtanam, which is you know, uh, glorifying the Lord, also doing the preaching work. Uh, then Vishnu Smaranam, uh, then uh, Pada can, 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 can I interrupt you, please? Yeah. So, uh, the, the reading of this text and recommendations is well known and discussed. But I want to hear about what Avinash is doing practically. Ah, practically. And, uh, so, so that's and, what you want to do. And, and, and in his realization. Ah, okay. Okay. Is, is, is it, are you really clearing up your mess? Mm, okay, so the, 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 I, I will... And, I will and the, similarly with other people, if they can contribute. Because we are in March 2021. Yeah. Talking about 5,000 years ago, what they've written is very nice. But I'm try, trying to get real with everything. So I'll be inspired by people, what they do, what they struggle with. Etc. Okay. Et okay. Uh, okay, uh, Ravi Prabhu, uh, I get your point. So, do you want my realization now, or do you want uh, uh, to do it later? Well, whenever. Uh, whenever. Okay. Whenever. So, whenever. So, whenever. So, so, so I can I can say now when when I'm speaking this this uh, now about realization and about we are in March 2021, as you say. Um, so, my personal thing. Uh, if, if you ask me in reality, is I am still at the practicing stage. And uh, I am practicing, uh, I do my sadhana every day. So my usual sadhana is to wake up early in the morning. So, and ensure that I do my 16 rounds. So I do my 16 rounds first. Then also I reflect on um, uh, the Shishtatakam, you know, the Cheto Darpana Marjanam, and just write, uh, read that. And, and then I go through the, the 10 offenses, uh, which are always, I, I don't want to repeat the 10 offenses, probably you know the 10 offenses. So just read the, through those 10 offenses. Um, then actually I do my uh, uh, service, you know, do little arti uh, to Goranitai every morning. Um, my wife shares this service with me, so she offers the prasad. Um, I do my arti. I do tulsi arti afterwards. Um, they, um, and, and I sometimes, if I've got time, I chant extra rounds, so on top of my 16 rounds. So those are my usual, usual uh, chores every morning I do. Um, How much time and, is that? And then, uh, it, it takes me, I, I'm, I'm up at about uh, 6.30 usually. 
Uh, by seven, I start my round, uh, rounds and I finish my rounds at about nine o'clock. Uh, so when I finish my rounds and I do my RT and all that, it's, it, it comes to half past nine. Then um, if I've got time, I try to listen to one of the Prabhupada's lecture. So I listen to Prabhupada's lecture. And, uh, and the second one, which is also recommended in my, by, by my mentor, is to listen to a lecture of the guru you are aspiring for. Yeah? Are so you retired? I am semi-retired, not, not completely retired. I'm semi-retired. So I, 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 I listen to, um, you know, that. And also in the evening, I try to, if I can't catch up in the morning, then I catch up with the lecture during the evening time. Um, and other thing which is recommended, which I, you know, time is the main factor because if I have to work and do other things, um, then I can't do everything, but I have to read as well. So I have to read Prabhupada's books. Um, so that is how my day goes. But if you, if you ask me uh, practically, practically whether, you know, I'm completely pure or not pure in my service going into March, 2021, um, I am still at the practicing stage. So this is what my realization is. And I am gradually coming, you know, to a stage where I can, I can think about myself, where, where, where was I, uh, say, 10 years ago and where I am now. I can see slight difference. I can't, I can't say I'm completely pure because we all have some material uh, attachments at the moment, which we are trying to, uh, slowly uh, to eliminate them. We can't eliminate, eliminate everything, but um, in, 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 in time period, we, you know, I'm, I'm expecting that um, come my time, I don't know when, when my time will come, but I, I, I want to remember Krishna exactly, you know, at the time of death, as he says in uh, uh, chapter eight. So that is my only uh, realization at the moment. So as I said, I'm like everyone else. Uh, we are all um, slightly attached to the material world, but um, you know, it's a step-by-step -step process, which we are all, I think, uh, going towards. So uh, that's, that's my realization, Ravi Prabhu. I, I don't know whether that helps. So, but you have the luxury of being semi-retired. I think the rest of the world is not in that state. Okay, okay. I will, I will tell you. I was just semi-retired five months ago. Okay, I was semi-retired in October. Yeah. So, and so what was your what so, was your so, schedule? So my before schedule retirement? before retirement, my schedule was chanting sixteen rounds um, and listening to my lectures while on a train. Uh, going to work and when I come back uh, reading a book, uh, Srila Prabhupada's book, when I come back uh, and um, we have, we used to have a Sangha, I mean we still have a Sangha every once a week on Wednesday so I attend the Sangha uh, do my service at the temple so it was like doing a service at the temple um, so every Sunday that's two hours service at the temple and uh, that was my usual routine, um, you know, before I retired. It's only been five months. I'm semi-retired. I'm 60 now, so I'm semi-retired. I thought I better do, but still, I will be doing other things. I won't be completely be focusing on this thing because um, there is some voluntary service I'll be doing in future is to help people um, in the hospitals, uh, especially at the... Watford Hospital, Watford General Hospital, where I can go and uh, um, ask, encourage people to do the chanting and also read Bhagavad Gita, uh, you know, in front, you know, when they are there and um, do some kirtan and so on. That is, that will be my duty after this, um, when, when we come out of this COVID uh, lockdown.
thank, uh, thank you. There'll be many other questions. We will talk some other time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Hare Krishna. That's good. So you, uh, Prabhuji, from Mishra Bhakt, like me. So I do my devotional service. Uh, at least I used to do it one year ago with a lot of expectations from Krishna, and I have graduated to unconditional. Do whatever you want to do with me. I am going to do this for you and increasing day by day to what Prabhu uh, has now graduated to. So there are various, we all are at various levels. We no, I'm not graduated yet. I'm still, I, I, I still think as well, I have not achieved anything. So this is, this is the thing. I have not achieved anything yet and I'm, I'm still making progress. So, so I am probably at everyone's level at the moment. So that's what I can say. Prabhu, I can't chant 16 rounds every day. So you are much, much higher than me. No, maybe maybe I'm not chanting quality rounds, Mataji. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So Ravi Prabhu, you saw that uh, it doesn't have to be all these things at one time, getting up at ungodly hours at three o'clock and doing it. Let's make a start. Small, small baby steps at a time. And I think we will get there. And um, I every day reflect on my YouTube analogy that uh, life um, starts and when there is an advertisement, that's when you die, then you continue from where you left, then you die, then you die. So uh, this is happening to us in so many times in memorial. We now just have to uh, go uh, in a perpendicular fashion to Golok Vrindavan and that, is, that should be our aim. Anyway, let's let's uh, continue. And one more thing, I mean, when I say I, I, it's actually not me. It's also Krishna's mercy. So it's also Krishna's mercy and devotees' mercy. It's not me at all. So this is what my time I get is with His mercy, and everything is with His mercy. So it's it's not me doing things, but I'm just uh, grateful for what I've been given. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Prahlad, let's continue. I think we read a little more if we have to reflect. Let's read uh, three or four more paragraphs and then reflect. Prahlad, okay. yeah. Vishaka Mataji, your hand is up. Is, is it a burning question or contribution? Okay, maybe... Uh, it was up by mistake. Okay. Uh, continue, Prahlad. Prahlad Prabhu. Okay. Um, it is said that the execution of devotional service is so perfect that one can perceive the results directly. This direct result is actually perceived and we have practical experience that any person who is chanting the holy names of Krishna Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, In the course of chanting, without offenses, feels some transcendental pleasure and very quickly becomes purified of all material contamination. This is actually seen. Furthermore, if one engages not only in hearing, but in trying to broadcast the message of devotional activities as well, or if he engages himself in helping the missionary activities of Krishna consciousness, he gradually feels spiritual progress. This advancement in spiritual life does not depend on any kind of previous education or qualification. The method, the method itself is so pure that by simply engaging in it, one becomes pure. Can you continue, Prabhuji? Okay, yes. In the Vedanta Sutra, it is this is also described in the following words. Prakasas cha karmani abhyasat. Devotional service is so potent that simply by engaging in the activities of devotional service, one becomes enlightened without a doubt. A practical example of this can be seen in the previous life of Narada, who in that life happened to be the son of a maid servant. He had no education, nor was he born into a high family. But when his mother was engaged in serving great devotees, Narada also became engaged and sometimes in the absence of his mother, he would serve the great devotees himself. Narada personally says, Uchista 
uh, Uchista Lepon Anu Modito DJ Sakrit Sma Bunje Tad Apasta Kilbisa Evam Prav Pravetasya Visudha Chetasas Tad Dharma Evatma Ruchi Prajate In this verse from Srimad Bhagavatam Narada describes his previous life to his disciple, Vyasadeva. He says that while engaged as a boy servant for those purified devotees during the four months of their stay, he was intimately associating with them. Sometimes those sages left remnants of food on their dishes, and the boy who would wash their dishes wanted to taste the remnants. So he asked the great devotees for their permission and when they gave it, Narada ate those remnants and consequently became freed from all sinful reactions. As he went on eating, he gradually became as pure-hearted as the sages. The great devotees relished the taste of unceasing devotional service to the Lord by hearing and chanting, and Narada gradually developed the same taste. Uh, Narada says further, Tatran Vaham Krishna Kata Pragyat Pragayatam Anugrahenas Vrenam Snavam Manohara Tashradaya Me Nupam Nupadamam Nupadam Visranavata Priyasravasi Anga Mama Bhavadruchi by associating with the sages, Narada got the taste for hearing and chanting the glories of the Lord, and he developed a great desire for devotional service. Therefore, as described in the Vedanta Sutra, Prakasas uh, Cha Karmani Abhyasat, if one is engaged simply in the act of devotional service, everything is revealed to him automatically, and he can understand. This is called pratyaksha, directly perceived. Hare Krishna, I think let's reflect. And I think Ravi Prabhuji's question was directly leading to what we read now. So uh, um, I would just start off and then uh, somebody or anybody who wants to reflect on this could further put it on. Um, so it over here it says, how uh, when you start doing devotional activities, you, um, you will gradually progress. Like for example, a great saint like even Narada, he, he started without any education and anything, but just eating prashadam, not even prashadam, the remnants of the foods um, and associating with sages, he got to where he, he became. And um, I know you and me cannot uh, eat prashadam every day from the temple, but you can make an offering to, uh, at least that is what I have started doing. Um, uh, whatever uh, uh, you can offer, eat that prashadam and that will help you purify. Okay, Vishaka Mataji, I think you must be really tired. Your hand was up for a long, long time. Please uh, share your realization. I think, sorry, it was my error. I'm so sorry. I just raised it but, uh, by, by mistake. I was trying to like, okay. flip the screen and it happened. Okay. I wasn't able to uh, turn it off. Sorry about that. Yeah. That's okay, Mataji. Um, uh, Richa Mataji, your hand was up and then Prahlad would like to contribute as well. So yes. Hare Richa. Krishna. Hare Krishna. I just wanted to add one point is that getting like, being um, able to do devotional service in any form, uh, one must have a mercy or one must have mercy of a Vaishnava or a devotee in order to even begin your devotional service or to know about devotional service. First devotional service is to, is to accept Vaishnavas and only by the mercy of a devotee of a Vaishnava, you'll be gifted with a devotional service. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. So Guru's uh, presence, whether it's a Shiksha Guru or a Diksha Guru, or somebody who can just point the uh, direction is very important. Uh, yes, Prahlad, Hare Krishna, Prahlad Prabhu. 
Uh, yes, Hare Krishna. So I'd like to give like uh, a very short, a very short contribution. So now we have reached to a point whereby we are now learning that you know it doesn't have to require as much education uh, in order to be on this path of spirituality of Krish or uh, Krishna consciousness. Um, you just need people to associate with who are already within the movement. So what I'd like to say is that I like how, uh, how our community is uh, very transparent, you know. We accept everyone regardless of anything. I mean, sure, there are some stories here and there uh, because nothing is perfect in this material world, but they are very little. But the point is, like, there is this story every now and then that I hear whenever, be it glorification of Srila Prabhupada, or a class regarding Srila Prabhupada, you know, for, uh, I, I think maybe you may have heard this one, but when Srila Prabhupada was giving initiations, there was a man who, who had a very uh, large smoking addiction. So Srila Prabhupada said, I would like to give initiation to this man. So, you know, everyone, you know, they said, no, he's still smoking. He needs to stop smoking. And that's when he'll get initiation, you know. But the man did get initiation. And believe it or not, he, he did stop smoking. So it's this continuous association of devotees that shapes us. You know, it, it molds us even more into what we will be and where we will go sometime in the future. Because this, this is an added benefit. I mean, sure, one could try and do this, uh, the, uh, go on this path by themselves. But I doubt if they will, you know, without that encouragement, without that positivity around them, I doubt if they will, you know, go further. And even if they do, I would congratulate them, you know, because that, that would really mean a lot. But association is key. Everyone says association is key. And we, we have seen here by the story of Narada, by associating himself with these uh, spiritual devotees, you know, th these people who are constantly engaged in Krishna consciousness, he slowly by slowly started to develop that habit, you know, of chanting, hearing the names of the Lord, and etc. And we are told here that it is only by chanting that we can really improve, because that is like base one. Yeah, so that's that's all I have to say. Hare Krishna, Hare. thank you very much, Prahlad, uh, for that. March 2020 and March 2021, uh, the change, probably one of the changes. I used to drink tea, 10 cups of tea in March 2020. March 2021, I don't drink tea at all, and I don't miss it. So that is just my uh, realization. Okay. Yes, that means it's working. So maybe the the uh, that shows that the process is working. Though I'm yes. still a Mishra Bhak, I'm not even uh, there. But I can see changes in myself. So in the club, I used to drink about your two amount of tea when, you know, nine, nine, nine years ago, I used to drink the same similar amount of teas. Lots and lots of cup of teas. Yeah, but yeah. now I don't drink. Yeah, yeah. Hare Krishna. Yes, Pramataji. I just want to share as well, you know, I think the association, what I'm doing now is only through association because I was so lazy. I used to get up at, if I'm at home on a, on a day off from work, I would get up at 10 o'clock. That's how my day would start. And, uh, you know, like uh, I even hardly bow down to the Lord. Like, you know, it was just like normal life. But uh, by going, by seeing my friends who were uh, uh, like uh, so much getting spiritualized, changes in my friend, I thought, oh, I started to also think, how come I'm like this? And I gradually sort of started to, something told me, I'm, I'm not living the right way. I should be also be doing all this. And gradually I changed. And now I, I never get... For me, getting up at 10 o'clock is not in my dictionary. I would, I would get up at 4, 4.30 in the morning. That's my schedule every morning. 
And uh, because I always used to give an excuse, oh, I'm working, I've got children, I have to cook, I have to do this, I've got a family uh, who I have to do this and that. How is it possible to, but it's just about um, determination mm -hmm. and also, you know, other devotees, when you see that it is possible, then you ask yourself, are you really giving an excuse or it's just, you can do it if you really try. So association is the thing which changed my life. Haribol, Haribol. Thank you for sharing. Yes, um, Soni Mataji, kindly share. Hare Krishna. I just wanted to share something uh, like uh, one year back. You can say one year back. Uh, it was so difficult for me, just like Mataji is saying, it was so difficult to, for me to wake up after before 6.30, I think I even shared with you once, Mataji, yes. that it was so difficult that we had even planned that you'd be waking me up like a <laughs> chanting partner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What I can say is that um, I'm truly thankful to our Lord that he's given us this chance to know him. And uh, by his grace and by his mercy, now I'm able to wake up at 4 o'clock easily, do a bit of chanting, do a bit of service to cook for, for him also. And after that, manage to go to work. If I don't finish my chanting in the morning, then I continue to, uh, my lunch hour. I eat quickly, quickly, haraka, haraka, and continue my chanting. So I get to finish my 16 rounds. So that way I'm truly thankful. So the process has started. We are truly thankful. The process has started. It's got to start somewhere, Mataji, yes. I used to tell you it was so difficult for me to wake up. Very, very difficult, really. I could not even lift my eyelids. Yeah, but by his grace and mercy, the process has started for us all. And we are truly thankful for this association. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Thank you Ongera. so Ongera. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, thank you you. Thank you. <laughs> you have superseded. You have superseded and run. No, no, run. Not really, Mataji. No, no. But no, I'm grateful. We, I'm really grateful yeah. that you have been able to make this progress. Okay, yes. so Raj Kishori Mataji had a contribution after that. Um, Prahlad's uh, mother, uh, Sandhya Mataji would like to, uh, Sadhna Mataji would like to make a contribution and then reach her Mataji. Yes, uh, Raj Kishori Mataji, Danvat Pranam. Pranam to you. Mataji, uh, I'd like to say that there are people who are in the remote parts of the villages and some of them, you know, the mother-in-law won't let them go to the man temple or husband is not favorable. For such people, where do they get association? They just have to chant. If they chant constantly, due to the chanting association, they will progress. So we don't have to feel upset that, oh, everybody is having association. I can't have any. Krishna arranges the association as and when we are ready. But until then, we have to keep trying by chanting Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Mataji, for bringing that point up. Really grateful. Even in the Krishna book, the Brahmana's wives were not allowed by the Brahmanas to go and see uh, Krishna and Balram. So, uh, so it's not just um, of uh, now, but it used to even happen in those days as well. So uh, yes, chanting and constantly uh, smaranam, constantly trying to remember, which I don't, I cannot the whole day remember. And then I feel, oh, I forgot Krishna. And then suddenly I start remembering him. There are so many times in the day when I forget, but with constant practice, we'll get there. At least there are hopes for all of us. Okay, Richa Mataji. Oh. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. Uh, Sadhna Mataji is before me. So oh, I will sorry, be. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I just saw the hand. Prahlad, kindly unmute and tell Sadhna Mataji to contribute. Prahlad, a thousand apologies. Yes, my, yes. my contribution was. Uh, she should have just uh, contributed, then I can come as the last. I always like no being etiquette, like... Mataji. We should follow Vaishno etiquette. I, I, it was my mistake. Yeah, being but the... I, I like being the last person. So, the last person is the best. Actually, yeah, actually, he who loves uh, last loves the best. <laughs> okay, yeah. now what I wanted to, to contribute on is uh, about the waking up thing. You know, when uh, uh, Pralad was in the stomach, 
uh, we used to go to the temple. So when you used to go to the temple, we I decided when uh, I, I decided to just stay in the temple and Prabhuji was staying home. So he used to come, check on me and then he goes home. So I stayed permanently in the temple until I went to the hospital. Wow. Uh, yeah, and I remember give you, uh, taking a uh, darshan of Sila Prabhupada and the deities before going to the hospital. But uh, during that moment when I was staying in the temple, I used to wake up early in the morning, attend Mangalati every day, every day, every day. So my realization is here is we still wake up at that time, even Pralad from the small, uh, from when he was young, because I remember when he was in the stomach, I was doing Bhagavad Gita translation. And then I went, got him, and then after 40 to 50 days, again, I came back. So when I came back, I came back to continue uh, the Bhagavad Gita until I finished the translation. During that time, Pralad used to wake up at three. He was our alarm. <laughs> I would wake up, <laughs> he would cry, cry, and uh, I remember the next room was Gudakesh Prabhu. So Gudakesh Prabhu would tell me, and uh, I would do translation until one o'clock night, then I would sleep. So sometimes I would want to sleep at least so that I don't wake up that much early. At least I, I see the deities and I come back and sleep. But Prahlad used to wake up and I would wake up and the good Akesh Prabhu would say, take this boy to Mangalati. Why are you keeping him in the room? And he's, <laughs> he's waking up and talking and, uh, and he used to like, he's not like he used to cry. He would wake up and he would just play on the bed and he would make a lot of, a bit of more noise. So he would tell, take this boy, this boy wants to go to Mangalati, take him down. So I, I tell Gudakesh Prabhu, he's feeling, he's going to feel cold, he'll, he'll get sick. No, 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 cover him and take him down. So from now, from that moment till now, we still wake up early in the morning. Though at home we don't do the Mangalati uh, thing, but we do the Guru Ati, because man, during that time I get ready to go to work. So that is my realization. You know, it works even to the baby when the baby is still in the stomach. It also works. Definitely. Hare Krishna. Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Bol. And we are seeing the product. And he's all that. Till now. Yeah. Three yeah. o'clock, you say, Mom, wake up, get ready, cook for us so that you can rush, go to work. So you wow. don't get late. Yeah. All glories to Mataji. All glories. All, all glories. glories. And then. I just go to work. Hare Krishna. Well done. Well Hare done. Krishna. Thank you very much for sharing that. I hope Ravi Prabhuji is enjoying the conversation. Uh, the, he had started this and it's really become so interesting. Yes, uh, Richa Mataji. And then there is a question on the chat. Uh, yes, Richa Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I don't have like much of it because I'm actually very new to um, Krishna consciousness. I I actually I actually just finished one year in this March. I started last year March. This March I finished one year in Krishna consciousness. So basically, I started in a in a very um, if I can say at a speed of a Bugatti, I guess that excitement. Oh, I can do this. Blah blah blah. Chanting like. 30 rounds a day and everything together on Ekadashi is cha chanting like 64 rounds, 82 mm -hmm. rounds. Wow. And, um, and then out of nowhere, like I felt, I started feeling pressure. I started uh, questioning my bhakti at some point that is it really real? Like I, I felt some kind of emptiness still in me. So I fell down. I stopped chanting, stopped going to temple. I actually got back with my friends during this period of time when I was chanting like all my rounds and everything. I wasn't associated with non-devotees. I stopped everything completely. My thoughts and everything changed. But then uh, in this month, I again fell down. The, that was in September last year. I got back to my friends. I started like partying and, and going out and everything, eating outside. Not, not really non-veg or onion garlic, but just like eating outside and and slowly, slowly, after one month, I felt like I went through hell. 
my anxiety got back to me my depression hit me my emotions got out of control i lost myself i started failing in subjects like i um i am a person who really loves education like i love reading and and like being good in education that is like um a, a, like an advantage that i take because i like to read that's the thing so then i fell down in my education i went down and it was like this whole one month time that was like hell i went through hell and then in october now is when i started taking it slowly one round each day from one i went to three from three i went to five five to 10 10 to 15 15 to 16 slowly slowly i increased my chanting rounds i started reading bhagavad translation one lecture every day uh, associating with devotees at least going to temple twice in a week even though how busy i get work studies i made these rules for myself and at some point it became really impossible to follow them because of studies and work together but then somehow or the other i don't know by the mercy of um, lord i actually got to do seva in temple itself for flowers and for accounting also. Wow. So I started doing this seva. Like I was really, uh, I was being suggested by so many people that go to temple regularly. There was no way that I could do it. And I felt helpless, but apparently I left my job and I got to do seva in temple. So I started going to temple every single day. Five, uh, around 5.30, I'm there at the temple gate attending Guru Puja, half of the Gora Ati, because actually my area is not safe. So I don't really go a bit early. I am there attending Guru Puja, um, then the Bhagavad, Bhagavad Gita. I mean, all of them. It continued for quite a month. Then again, Corona came, so it all got disturbed. But one thing I noticed that my lifestyle really changed my way of thinking, my way of accepting, because uh, me being, I, I was like a troubled teenager. I had a lot of desires, a lot of comparison, being from a typical Indian family, always comparison, your sister is like this, your brother is this. That thing, I started comparing myself. I forgot myself. I forgot that I have to motivate myself also. So when I got back to Krishna, I understood that um, anger is not the solution. I had anger management issues. I still do face them, but it's not as it used to be before. It is very controlled, very calm. I understand. I try to, I actually understand the position of a person in front of me. I try to put my leg in his, his shoes and I understand. So my thinking, my behavior, um, it has changed quite a few, like there have been improvements some of the things that I've lost people in my life because of taking up to bhakti, because my friends and they were all a very negative influence on my life. But in the end, I don't regret it because uh, I feel that at some point now I have started accepting Krishna, starting to let Krishna in my life and giving him the control of, uh, of my life. Even though I still have those desires, I want this, I want that. I won't let Krishna control everything and this and that. But still at some point, it's it's coming in slowly, slowly. And I just hope every single day I pray to him that whatever may happen, but don't let me fall back on this bhakti path. I have gone through hell. I came back. I experienced like both the sides, spiritual and material together. And to be honest, sometimes experience are really needed to learn from them. This is my experience, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, thank you so much. Eh? Really, really enlightened to hear what you went through and how you came back to Krishna consciousness. And I'm really, really, really grateful for you to share your realizations with us today. Everybody, everybody's realizations were very important. Thank you, Ravi Prabhu, for asking that question. It means a lot more than the purpose that we are reading when we uh, discuss among ourselves about our own realizations. I think uh, that is what Prabhu wanted, probably a practical example. Prabhu, are you okay? Ravi Prabhu? Yes. Oh, I'm very much okay. Please, please look at the chat. I put another question. Okay. Uh, Avinash Prabhuji, will you be able to answer the questions on the chat? What's the question? Let's see. 
Okay, so um, uh, Kirtika Mataji and Avinash Prabhuji is giving up tea devotional service. No, it's part of austerity. It's the regulative principles, four regulative principles that no intoxication, so it's part of no into intoxication. So, tea is intoxicating. Tea is tea. caffeinated. So there is caffeine in it. You will realize when I stopped my tea, I used to have headaches. So why did I have headaches? Because that was the, that was the reaction for giving up the tea. So every morning I used to have headaches, but then gradually I got used to it. So now if I start my tea again and get addicted to it, you know, I'll start having headache when I stop it. So this is, this is something which is, uh, that it has got that caffeine element, which we don't want uh, to be used to. So it's like, it's like a drug at a very small scale. Yeah, and you are just um, uh, cleansing yourself. Uh, yes, Richa, Mataji. Oh, I actually forgot to mention one thing that uh, me coming back again to Krishna consciousness, like from starting till falling back in material again, starting until today, devotees have played a very, very important role in my life. Uh, so many devotees from temple have gifted me. All my Krishna books are gifted by I literally wished and almost cried for Bhagavatam on my birthday and somehow the other Krishna arranged and I got Bhagavatam as a gift, as my birthday gift from a devotee. I have a Krishna book, which is again a gift from a devotee. I have a Hare Krishna book. I have a Prabhupada book, all the books and uh, actually even my bean bag, it is a gift. Uh, my kanti is a gift and Everything I have of Krishna, all the, even the DTs that I have, all the pictures, all the magazines of Krishna, every single thing, even the clothes and the jewelry of my Krishna, of my DT, is a gift from all the devotees and all the love that I've received from them. So it's like they have played a very, very important role in bringing back a fallen soul like me, which actually brought back my my faith in humanity. I lost my faith in humanity at some point, but they were the fun. They are actually my foundation for what, what I am right now. I give all my credits to all the devotees from Nairobi temple. The Even the president of Nairobi temple, even he literally contributed a lot to my devotion. So I'm grateful to all of Thank you, Richa, for yeah. sharing that. So Krishna is really very kind and you have received a lot of mercy. Prahlad has uh, one more thing to contribute. Prahlad Prabhu? Yes, yes. I guess, I guess like this analogy just came and popped up in my mind. Um, you know, sometimes ideas just pop inside my mind. So the way this process of spirituality is, it's like a door with many locks. And we're the tiny, we're the tiny child, you know, that forgot where we had hidden these locks. I mean, the, the, the keys to these locks. And uh, of course, our mom will come and beat us, you know, if we don't, if we don't find these keys. Yes. Uh, so the, the mom coming to beat us, that, that is what we may face onwards if we don't continue on this path of spirituality. You know, if we don't take it seriously, we will suffer. And these keys are many aspects that will open these locks one by one, you know, not necessarily in order. It could be lock number one and then lock number five for other people. But it's, these, these keys can be association of devotees, chanting, kirtan, uh, reading of scriptures, you know, etc. These are the keys and, and they're very essential to unlocking this door so that we go inside and, you know, we, we are all happy. That, oh, now I'm inside, I won't get beaten by my mom or my dad. I won't get scolded. We will probably have the cake or the pizza that's inside the house, you know? So, yes, that, that's my analogy of this process. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Okay, so now we have exhausted our time. Um, it being a weekday, we don't want to go ahead for more than six o'clock. Um, 
uh, and tomorrow we uh, we will uh, kanchan nabcha has not confirmed today but he said last week that he'll come tomorrow and i had already told him that it's um three so we have not finished the purport i would like everybody to read the purport on their own but i would uh, like to invite avinash prabhu ji and uh, he can summarize things for us in the next 10 minutes please devotees hang on for 10 more minutes as we give the podium to avinash prabhu ji prabhu ji is that okay do you have 10 more minutes for us yeah yeah um i, I just want to a, a quick thing actually we uh, this verse actually covered um, i mean if we go through the verse we covered raja vidyam raja guhyam yesterday yes uh, so pavitram actually pavitram is the next one pavitram idam uttamam so you will find that as we progress uh, things become more clear so we become purified and sometimes what we we didn't understand in the past we understand now uh, some people um, are covered in maya cannot simply understand the philosophy they'll say there is this is a lot of nonsense yeah people starts to become pure step by step so some experience the knowledge after they start to chant the hare krishna maha mantra things become gradually clear after a while and some people may say that they understand everything is those who are humble will inquire and ask and that is the correct process so you have to some people will say everything i know everything you know what are you trying to teach me i know everything but those who are people who are humble will always question always question so this is a best process so ask always ask the question um so so with with material knowledge you require intelligence you always require intelligence but spirit spiritual knowledge you you need to realize so realization is the key for the spiritual knowledge so there was an example of a actually retarded person in vrindavan and you see that retarded person a less able person how happy that person became just by chanting the names of the lord so by just realizing the names of the lord the person became so much happy so uttamam is the next verse uh, next thing on there that which is transcendental so that is uttamam it means transcendental and tama means darkness so uttama means the knowledge which is beyond darkness this material world is called darkness when knowledge surpasses material knowledge it is called uttama so also um, means this knowledge is above ignorance so the next thing in there is pratyaksha savagamam yeah pratyaksha sav so pratyaksha savagamam means if we follow this path of perfection then we will pers- personally understand how far you are advancing nobody will need to certify that you have advanced so much you will own your own self realize we have seen from the realization from different people they have themselves realized how much actually they have advanced so there are three types of uh, method of attaining knowledge so pratyaksha is the one of the ma- method it says it's a direct sense per- perception the knowledge we get through the five senses then the next one is anuman mental reasoning literally to follow anu means to follow and the mana means the mind anumana so anumanda is mental reasoning then the final one is shabda which is authoritative testimony literally sound so usually our our uh, bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam all are coming through from shabda yeah but um, in in this example prabhupada has said uh, you know in bhagavad gita said pratyaksha and how can we understand how far we are advancing this is through practice of devotional service can you do a performance without practice that's the question mark uh, so you need to practice to become perfect so as an example if there is unripened mango you won't get the sweetness until it ripes 
but unripened mango is still a mango. So, so is devotional service. Practice still a devotion. Yes, it is step. It is a step though. Real bhakti begins when one is free and is pure. So when heart is clean and all nonsense has disappeared. So this is when the pure devotional service begins, when our heart is clean. So how do you understand Pratyaksha? For instance, I have a brown table in my room. So everyone thinks there's a brown table. So you, you can see brown table. So everyone intelligence follow that. So this, this is a similar sort of thing. So Pratyaksha is mentioned in a, in a Krishna consciousness um, is by working through experience. So he experiences. So Prabhupada said we should be able to confirm through experience. And if we see um, the difference in our realization, then the process is working. So, so, so what are thoughts before we started Krishna consciousness and, and different to what our thoughts are now? We can perceive this ourselves. So that's Prataksha. Um, so the, the next bit is, um, I think I'll, I'll just try to, to, to say a little bit because we haven't got much time. It's only um, 10, uh, two, two more minutes or two or three more minutes. So take, for example, uh, what we do in Krishna consciousness. We dance, we sing, we take nice prasadam offered to Krishna, chant and discussing Bhagavad Gita philosophy. We are not meant for any uh, stringent rules and regulation like gymnastics um, um, and also and so many other things, yeah, like uh, breath control and things like you know, yoga and all that. So many things they are described and are performed by many different groups. Here, everything is very easy and happily done. This was Prabhupada's quote, yeah? Prabhupada quote, it said, so everyone wants to sing, everyone wants to dance, everyone wants to eat. By accepting this formula, dancing, singing, eating, Krishna Prasad, and hearing philosophical discussions of the transcendental from um, Srimad Bhagavatam. Don't you think you are happy? Prabhupada said, don't you think you're ha happy? So susu come and whatever knowledge you acquire is permanent. It will not be finished with the end of your body as it is eternal knowledge. It is such a nice thing. Susu kam kartum, avya yam and vignanam. Vignanam is scientific. It is not a sentiment and fanatism. So try to understand this philosophy of Krishna consciousness from Bhagavad Gita and help yourself. Help your countrymen, help the world. There will be peace and prosperity. These are Prabhupada's words, yeah? So we are very much proud of our advancement of education. But if you inquire from various persons, what are you? Hardly one, one will know the answer. Uh, you know, so we need, we need to know who are you? We are, the, we, are not, we are the eternal soul. So everyone is under conception of this body. I am actually, we are not this body. So after passing examination, I am not this body. Then one comes to the real knowledge. What am I is the beginning. You must act according to that you are not. Material, but are spiritual. That spiritual activity is acting in Krishna consciousness. And that is called Raja Vidya. So we, we saw Raja Vidya at the, which is the king of education. What is under control is, is, is this moment, actually. What is under control is this moment, right now, present. So whatever you are doing, offer it to Krishna. Forget the past, forget the future. Think about the present. How am I going to serve Krishna now? So whenever we, we are, people always think that I will be more Krishna consciousness when I have time, when I retire, when I finish my education, when I have children, when children grow up, when the, my grandchildren grow up and so on. We make so many plans like that, but that tomorrow will never come, yeah? So it is so important 
to think about devotion to Krishna now. So everything begins now. So if you haven't been doing anything before, you should start it now. So if we don't feel susukam, kartam, avyavyam, then we need to redirect our consciousness to Krishna. So that is my final thing because I've, I've jumped through quite a lot, but uh, this is the final thing which is con which concludes the uh, susukam, um, avyavyam. Yeah, Susu susukam kartam avyavyam. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, I'm really sorry. I know you have spent a lot of time in preparation, but because of the time factor, uh, you could not um, elaborate. But maybe one day we can revisit this again, because I think this is important shloka and, it ha uh, and uh, all these stages are important. But I think everybody's got the gist. Now, I had started recording this session because I thought it will be a normal format, but everybody shared their experiences. And do you um, mind if I put it on the YouTube channel? If you don't want your experiences to be um, uh, common to everybody, I will not put it. So kindly let me know if you don't want me to put this on the YouTube channel that we have. Okay, so there's no reservation. So I will put it so that others can benefit as well. But the whole thing was started with Ravi Prabhu and we know he is an exalted devotee and he chants 16 <laughs> rounds and he's been doing it since so many years. And he has no, not no, no, shared no, his no, experience. He, no, he has not shared his experience. So Prabhu, I give you one more minute and then we close. Uh, Ravi Prabhu is testing us. <laughs> exactly. I, I feel that he, he's sent by Krishna and he's sitting there and he's, he's like a monitor in this class. I, I always have uh -huh. that feeling when Ravi Prabhu is there in the class. So I, I, I'm just seeking inspiration because believe me, if I had done what I was told, I was told, I should be a guru by now. And I'm still struggling. Prabhu, you are? 19. No, no. Anyway. Uh, 19? We'll, uh, no, no. You have your one minute. minute. Prabhu, you have one minute. 19? 19. 98 started 1998 when you were probably at university heaven knows doing what so it's a long and slow path for me very long and slow that's why I seek inspiration from you youngsters anyway uh, yeah, and it, sometimes it's good if in just in case if you are struggling, uh, it's good to talk with somebody so that um, uh, uh, if you feel you, have, you are not advancing the way you should be advancing, it's a good idea to talk to devotees. And in Nairobi, you have access to so many. You are so lucky to be there. Um, association is very important as well, Prabhuji. But I know you are there. Mansi Ganga Mataji has told me about you. And he, she has told me you are an exalted devotee. So, Prabhu, continue with what well, you are doing. It's kind of her, but anyway, never mind. <laughs> Let's uh, say Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. No, Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare 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 Vanche kalpa tarubhyasya kripa sindhu kriyayavacha patitanam pavani bhyo vaishnave bhyo namo 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 Srila Prabhupada ki Padaki jai Shri Avinash Prabhuji ki Jai Oh Vaishnava Prabhu ki jai Today all Vaishnava Prabhuji contributed so everybody ki Ravi Prabhu ki jai. Ravi Prabhu ji ki jai. And even Kumar Ravi Prabhu, Prabhu ki jai. Who hasn't <laughs> contributed. Uh -huh. But March 2020, he was a meat eater. And, uh, and after he joined Krishna consciousness, it has just gone. He used to drink. He used to eat meat. Um, this is Shashwin's parents, uh, Shashwin's father. And it has just gone. So, Haribo. 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 So... Very nice. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Mr. Kumar, would you like to say something? Uh, Hare Krishna, Krishna Mataji. 
uh, you know in front of other dot uh, me is nothing but me i made a very big difference very big difference you know i started from i don't know i can't say even <laughs> human is like an animal so actually we we were from vaishnava family you know, parents they don't eat but here you know i came in uh, kenya at, uh, 2001 so <laughs> we started here all meat uh, alcohol you know started everything so then here now we now one and a half years we can say uh, 19 2019 uh, december 31st we stopped so previously slowly slowly but from there completely everything just is gone itself so no even no onion garlic so not only that one, now you know slowly coming up even the divorce you know very important you know i, is, I was reading uh, richa madaji you know some questions and your communications so very important one you know where for you know this uh, material life challenges you know coming out of from the you know this uh, materialist and uh, so devotee association you know this one really given the zoom and this corona given very good uh, platform for us to divert devotee devotee association very very very, very important that one made us very big. another next step going to next step very nice probably your 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 foundation was raised by raised by your by your parents who were vaishnavas so yes, that is the you, thing very important very important very well thank you so today's session was like a cake and kumar prabhu ji you were the icing on the cake we really enjoyed everybody's realization thank you very much and that's why this uh, group whether it uh, a very small group but um, i think uh, it will take us far we just hold each other's hands and uh, progress ravi prabhu ji is our monitor he will uh, gain us whenever it needed and today was the gain that he gave hey one year what have you done <laughs> hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna thank you